Thank you for tuning in to All Sketched Out. My name is Apollo, and I have a review you guys have been waiting for. And I have to apologize that I haven't put up the video yet. Uh, the reason being is because uh, I lost some of the footage. Actually, it was not lost. It was corrupted for some stupid reason after I um, transferred it from my camera to my computer. So. Uh, I do apologize about that. I have the Artist 22E. Now, um, that's just an empty box. Uh, but I've been using the Artist 22E for, I want to say, uh, a little over a month. Um, there was an issue that I was having with the screen protector. Um, it's not the same screen protector that was included with the Artist 22 HD. Uh, this new one has an adhesive strip on the very top, and I'm pretty sure that that's about it. That one, when I installed it, I kind of installed the way that I installed the Artist 22 HD screen protector, and um, it didn't work out. Uh, there was a few issues with the screen protector. I will show you guys the issues in a minute, and I ended up contacting XB Pen and asked them to send me another screen protector and they explained to me that they discontinued the new screen protector because there was a problem with the materials and they're actually working on a new screen protector I still want to kind of show you guys how to install it because I believe the newer units are uh, the new units that are still going out are going out with these old screen protectors guys so what we have here is the um, artist 22 HD and the artist 22 e um, right next to it uh, as you can tell, um, the Artist 22E has the 16 Express keys. Eight of them are programmable because this is mirrored for uh, left hand and uh, right hand users. Um, as you guys can see, the problem that I was having with the screen protector. Um, I, when I installed the screen protector, as you can see, and I'm just going to bring this in a little bit so you guys can see a little better. You guys can actually see my reflection, <laughs> kind of reflection, because this is an anti glare. Um, coating that is on this screen protector. Now the problem is, if you can see, there's very spots and uh, various areas where you can tell that the screen is not adhered to uh, the, well the screen protector is not adhered to the screen itself. Like right over here, did not want to adhere, adhere at all. It has this marbling effect on the, um, on the screen protector itself, which kind of, when it's off, it's very distracting. It looks very horrible. Um, but Again, this is a screen protector that's been discontinued. They uh, they found that there was an issue with it and decided to discontinue it uh, while they're working on some new ones. But the new ones, um, these right here, these screen protectors are the ones you'd still be getting um, if you were to purchase the Artist 22E. Now you can see some of mine a little bit dirty over here. I've been using it a lot. Um, and yeah, I had some tape over here to kind of keep this part of the screen protector down. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one off and I'm gonna install the new one that they sent me um, because this one may be defective, I'm not really sure. But what I do like about it and I thought it was genius is that they gave it an anti-glare coating. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and right over here I have the Artist 22 HD, uh, which was the first one I got from XP Pen. And I had reviewed this back in, I believe, April or May of last year. Yeah, so don't really let this deter you from purchasing it because without the screen protector, this is still an amazing product. It's just the screen protector. Um, I'm going to install it a different way uh, and see how that works out and see if this actually works a lot better. Um, I just want to show you guys this because I want to be completely honest with you guys. I want you guys to know um, what the products are buying, uh, especially XP Pen, um, which they have been doing a lot of cool things with their products, um, except for the screen protector, which is not very cool. Uh, that kind of when the screen's on, and I'll show you what it looks like with the screen on. I'm going to turn the screen on right now. There you go. So, let me just take this off. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit so you can actually see. You can see all, see all these spots? That's all the areas, and I believe maybe there was dust on it, but I, I checked it. I triple checked it and didn't see any dust at all. With the Artist 22 HD, now I took off the stand. Well, this one I had on my vessel mount, on my vessel stand. Um... And the wires were uh, plugging in from down here. That's something that uh, we, as reviewers and also as consumers, 
um, had a huge problem with uh, because when you laid this flat, the wires would get caught up on the bottom and you weren't able to use it. It was kind of distracting and, you know, it just it was a pain in the ass to be completely honest with you. So that was a major issue. With the Artist 22E, let me turn off the screen so you guys can see this better. There you go. Um, with the Artist 22E, I do have this mounted on a uh, VESA stand, which you can see right over here. Um, but in the back, what they did was they changed the connections to the side of the unit, which was genius. Um, it looks like XP Pen did listen to us uh, as consumers and as reviewers and ended up putting this on the side, which makes it so much easier for you to plug it in and also um, when you do have it hooked up to the stand, um, you're able to uh, you know, maneuver these in a way where it won't get pinched. On the, uh, on the stand itself. So that's another major change that XP Pen did to the Artist 22 HD to create the Artist 22 E. Um, and uh, one of the plugs are a bit different, which is the interface plug. This is more of the uh, plug that you'd see on, um, on your printer. Uh, they changed it. The Artist 22 HD had a regular USB to USB um, so it's male USB to male USB. Now this is a, uh, a different configuration of plug. Um, like I said, for kind of like your printer, it's got the plug right over here. Um, and everything else, other than that, everything else, uh, the power cable, they're using the exact same power adapter as it did with the Artist 22 HD and the HDMI cable. Um, the HDMI cable that it came with, with uh, this Artist 22E, was a bit shorter than the one that came with the RS22 HD. Uh, so I used my own um, HDMI cable that I had that was quite a bit longer. And the reason why I needed it to be longer was because I do have it on this stand and I have it running on a channel past my fabric paint that I have there into my computer, which is down there next to the wall. My UI is sitting on top of the wall. So, um, so yeah, that's like I said, that's one of the major differences that they did, um, major improvements that they did on the Artist uh, 22E. So I removed the Artist 22 HD. I'm only focusing on the Artist 22E. Uh, this was what comes in the box. Now I didn't use everything that came in the box because most of the things that came in the box for the Artist 22E uh, also came in the Artist 22 HD, with the exception of the. Um, the USB interface cable for the uh, digitizer for the screen. In the box, I mean, all you're gonna get is the Artist 22E and this box of uh, goodies. You have the uh, the power adapter, uh, which is this is the actual one that comes with the Artist 22E. I use the exact same one the Artist 22 HD had. This was already still already plugged into my computer. Uh, actually, plugged into my Outlook. Um, and I didn't want to really want to mess with it, and it's the exact same one, the exact same part number, and uh, so yeah, I decided to use the old one rather than using the new one. Uh, so that one's still there. Uh, I, it comes with the uh, VGA, the VGA, which I don't need that one. Um, you have the adapter for your Mac, so you have your HDMI, and then you have your secondary monitor output, and this is the plug that you use for your Mac. So you hook up to HDMI, and then you have your um, plug that goes into the. Uh, Mini DVI, Mini DV, or something like that. Um, I don't know the exact terminology. I'm sorry. So you, that comes with it, um, and then of course you have your uh, two pens. Now these are the exact same pens that come with the Artist 22 HD. So um, you get two rechargeable pens. Again, they already came charged right out of the box. Um, I didn't even have to charge them. This is the exact same pen that I've been using since I got it. Um, a little over a month ago, maybe like the beginning of January, and I was hoping that they were gonna kind of in uh, like kind of get their passive pen that they use for the um, Artist 10s and all of their lines of tablets from the uh, Star One all the way to the Star Five. I thought they would use their passive technology to improve on this pen, um, but unfortunately, uh, they're still using the battery-operated pen. It's not such. It's not too much of a big deal because the battery does last a very long time with these things. But it is something nice to see that they're like, okay, well, we're gonna improve on the product, and instead of using the um, battery-powered pen, we're gonna improve on this pen and make it passive. 
So it comes with your quick start guide, which is a bit thicker than your regular user's manual. I don't know why, maybe because it's, oh yeah, it's different languages. CD drivers. I would uh, recommend to install the drivers that are from the website there. I'm always going to tell you guys this. Uh, don't worry about this. Uh, and then it uh, comes with the chargers for the pens. You get two of them, just like in the Artis uh, 22 HD. You get two pens. You just plug it into the back over here. Uh, plug this into a USB source where it could be a little power block or your computer and uh, the light over here will start turning blue um, and let you know that the pen is fully charged when the light is completely off. Now when you need to charge it, this is going to turn red. So now we're going to go into the drivers. Um, I'm going to switch it over so uh, you guys can see what I'm doing with the drivers. The drivers are already installed in mine, um, so I'm not going to go into the whole installation process because usually the installation process for all these products are pretty much the same. So I'll show you where to get the drivers, I'll show you the website, I'll leave a link in the description for you guys so you guys can see, um, uh, so you guys can actually go to the website and, and grab that, uh, that those drivers uh, for this uh, Artist 22 e But before we get into that, before we get into the drivers, I want to rip this screen projector off and uh, put the new one on. So um, I'm gonna have to go and really clean, clean. I'm gonna clean this screen out. I'm gonna clean this screen, guys. I gotta have to clean this screen really, really well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this up, and I'll be back and uh, continue on with the review. So we're gonna open this up, clean off the screen again because I do see dust particles on it. I like to give you guys in-depth reviews. I like to uh, be very thorough and very uh, detailed when it comes to uh, me creating my reviews. So that's why most of my reviews are rather lengthy and um, I just want you guys to know exactly how the product works, how to install the drivers, how to set up the express keys. Uh, I want to show you guys it, the, the, you know, the product working in action, which I will be doing a speed sketch video of the logo I'm doing for one of my friends um, and show you how easy and how well uh, the uh, Artist 22 e works as opposed to the Artist 22 HD uh, when I was using my keyboard the entire time now I already have the express keys already set up and it's it's phenomenal it's, it's a whole different ballgame so um, here's a screen protector uh, it does come with another microfiber cloth which I'm going to use because this one is dust free and it hasn't been used before um, so it should pick up all the dust and I'm hoping that this uh, screen protector doesn't doesn't just lay on the screen, um, because then I'm going to I'm going to have a problem. <laughs> um, but we'll see right now what happens um, when installing the uh, screen protector. So um, that's step two. So step one is. You have two tabs on the screen protector. Of course, you guys know that if you guys have already seen um, my review for the Artist 22 HD, um, you guys will be familiar with you know what I use and everything, and, and um, uh, installing the screen protector um, onto the screen. So you got step one, which is removing this side. If this is the side that gets adhered to the screen itself has to be removed first well let's see what happens I'm gonna keep this so that no dust goes on it I don't want any dust on this so I'm going to be um, opening this almost like upside down so it's facing the screen the entire time oh. and now take off the adhesive backing For this which is a pain in the butt okay so you take off the adhesive backing off the back of the screen and just like the instructions say and I'm going to wipe this down again because I don't want any problems I don't want any dust particles in between the screen and the screen protector if that's something you don't want um, and then you just lay the screen protector over the edge and just match the edge be careful this thing gets really stuck very 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 fast so you want to make sure that you got it right the first time if not you're going to have a huge 
huge issue. Sorry guys, it sounded like I farted right there. <laughs> no, um, this was just a screen protector. Um, just laying on the thing. So now we have the screen protector on. And then we just go and take step two out, which is this. Okay. So, it looks okay. Alright, so like I said, there is a bit of rainbowing, and I'm not a big fan of that. And I'm wondering if that's why XP Pen said that they uh, were re... Um fixing that and they were discontinuing this screen protector uh, so they can add the new screen protector on there so I do see some dust particles behind the screen protector and I'm hoping that it doesn't cause a problem this whole rainbowing thing is really annoying let me just get a my pen so now I see why they said at the screen protector uh, they were had to uh, improve on it. It is quite annoying to uh, to use um, this screen with this amount of rainbowing that happens. This whole rainbowing effect that's happening on this screen is not what I'm looking for. So um, that's one flaw that the um, that SC Pen is having, and it's not the product itself; it's the screen protector. So I think I'm gonna wait until um, XP, Pen, XP Pen comes up with their new screen. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to have it use it like this. Uh, so those of you who have the um, Artist uh, 22 HD or the Artist 22E, um, as you're using it with this screen protector, you are gonna see a lot of rainbowing. But you know what, eventually it does go away, but it's annoying, it really is. Um, that's one thing that I would say that XP Pen has to uh, improve upon, um, which is their their screen protector technology. XP Pen is doing a lot of innovative things with their products, and um, the Artist 22E proves that, especially with the new products that are coming out this year, like the uh, the AC19 controller. Uh, I believe they're coming out with an Artist 16 or 18. They come out with another artist uh, series uh, pen display, which is bigger than the Artist 10S, but smaller than the Artist 22. Um, now I'm gonna switch over to the screen. I'm gonna make this screen a little bit smaller, uh, so you guys will be able to see um, how I set up the drivers of the uh, Artist uh, 22E. Okay, so I just repositioned my camera so you guys can see me over here while I'm showing you guys what's going on on the screen. So. Um, in order for you to uh, download the drivers, I like I said, I recommend that you download the drivers from the website because the website has the most updated drivers. So I would trust the website more than I would trust the CD that comes with the unit. So right here we are on xppen.com. You just go ahead, like I always do, click support. Uh, you guys have seen my other videos or my other reviews. You already know where to go uh, from here. You hit downloads. And you go to driver CD download, or CD driver download, whatever you want to call it, and you have it right here. Artist 22E driver. So this is what you're looking for. You go ahead, you click download. I already did it. I already did all, um, set it all up and everything. It's already installed. So guys, all you have to do is just follow the prompts while you're installing it, and you shouldn't have no problems installing it at all, uh, whether it's Mac or PC. Uh, it's all going to run the same. It's going to work perfectly fine. You don't have to worry about it. Um, so after you're done with that, you want to go over to uh, where would it be? Tablet setting. So it's gonna come up tablet setting on my Mac. Comes up tablet setting over here. And here we go. Now we are at the uh, the tablet monitor setting where you can um, set up the, the express keys, calibrate the screen. Um, check the pressure sensitivity of your pen, which we can do right now, um, so you guys can see how this you, how this works. So um, we're over here, and don't forget your glove because no glove, no love. 
I don't know why I said it, guys. I just said it. So you put on your lovely glove on. Um, put on your glove. You don't want to get your fingerprints all over the screen, which is really not going to happen because this does have a matte finish to it. But you get your oils on it, and eventually you will see it. Um, so setting up the uh, the uh, the monitor and setting this up, the Artist 22E. Now um, you can go over here and just check the pressure sensitivity of your pen. And like I like to kind of go a little more heavy. I don't know why it was set to light, but um, see, this is very sensitive right now for me. So I want to bring this up. A little further here we go that's a little better oh yeah definitely yep so you can check all uh, make sure that it's reading all levels of pressure sensitivity you're going to need that that's actually really important uh, especially for some of the programs that are out there um, you want to be able to set it up to how you feel comfortable um, it's all about how how you want the the pen to react to your pressure sensitivity. So if you have it all the way down to light, the lightest, lightest bit of pressure is going to give you broad lines, um, and and you won't have that that natural feeling. Now I put it uh, more towards the heavy side, almost towards the end, because I like to do my light work, which you're seeing right now, and then gradually get heavier and heavier. Um, I might put a little more towards you. To you. Um, now we want to go to the express keys. Express keys is when it gets more involved, and you really want to set it up to how you feel comfortable using your software. Now, if you're someone that uses Photoshop a lot, um, the way it's set up now is uh, kind of how you want to have it. Um, I use Sketchbook Pro, so I left all of my express keys. Ex uh, the same except for uh, K7 and K8. K7 I set it up for uh, the um, the not erase tool but kind of like the uh, what tool is that when you uh, you select something and then you erase it. So you select something and then you make it just go away. I don't know what the proper term of it is. I'm not the best artist in the world. Um, so I set that one up for that and then I use the ellipse tool uh, quite um, uh, or well yeah it's, it's called the ellipse tool on Sketchbook Pro uh, quite a few times when I'm doing trying to make perfect circles trying to make some good curves and everything so I set that up as K8 so um, you have it right here you have K1 through K8 it's like I said it's all user defined on how you want to set it up now you can either go okay let's say K1 is the brush size I K1 and K2 I normally use them for brush sizes because I'm always using different kinds of sizes when I'm when I'm doing my lines um, or when I'm coloring or whatever. Um, so you can set it up to however you want um, on the drop down menu or if you hit uh, the customer defined I think it said. Let's go back. Yeah, customer defined. Now over here you can use the drop down menu that's already provided for you or just hit your hotkey. Hit the hotkey that you want. It's automatically going to show up over here. So let's say I want um, you know, brush size and I would say I want it to actually be B which uh, B would be brush. Um, you can set it up to that or if I say hey you know what I think I want to have it for delete. You guys can't see it because I put the screen up. Um, so it's all you to define so however you feel comfortable setting up your express keys you can go ahead and do it that way. Uh, I'm gonna hit cancel because I don't want to really screw around with it because I, I like the way it's set up on mine right now. Um, so take a look at your programs. Uh, Sketchbook Pro, MetaBank, Paintstorm Studio, they're pretty much the same when it comes to that. Um, you have uh, Corel Painter, you have Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects. This works on all these programs. Just define and set up your express keys to how you feel comfortable. XP Pen is geared towards uh, the artist who does not have the money to buy an X, uh, to buy a, a Wacom. So you're spending a thousand dollars less for a product that is really well built and and they're working on uh, the technology behind their drivers and the te technology behind their pens and their screen so yeah the XP Pen Artist 22E just have the only flaw of the screen protector now I didn't do it the way I normally do it all I did was uh, put on the adhesive and it looks a lot better than it did when um, I installed it the other way but the only issue is just that rainbowing effect that you see on the screen that just could be just 
the screen protector itself. Now that's something that XUPEN, like they said, they are working on it and they are gonna come up with a better product, a better screen protector. And I'm hoping maybe uh, they might pre-install the screen protector so then we don't have to do it. That would help us greatly. So XP Pen, if you guys are watching, please, please, please find a way to install these screen protectors so then we're not finagling with it and we're not going and pulling our hair out. Look what happened. So, I mean, if you guys follow my instructions for the Artist 22 HD, if, if they still provide that old screen protector, um, that instruction, what I did, was the proper way to do it. This one is totally different, guys. This one's really, really different. But, uh, you know, enough about the screen protector. You guys already know there's an issue with the screen protector, and XP Pen is working on it. So, um, after you define your express keys and everything, you want to go in and calibrate it. Um, the calibration is, I believe, a 9-point calibration. Let me just find out. Uh, I believe it's 5-point. So, you just go ahead and just follow the points as I'm showing you here. Um, and, like I said, it's pretty much on point for me. Uh, for you guys, I don't know how it's going to be, but right out of the box, mine was pretty much calibrated. I didn't really have to do too much calibration to it. Um, and I'm really impressed with that. Uh, so, um, once you're done with all that, now you're all set to go. I'm hitting cancel because I don't really want to save any of the settings that I already have already in there. Um, because I'm already, it's already set up. I've been using it for a month. If you guys, you know, want uh, some more information, uh, you guys can hit me up. Uh, you guys can, I'll put my links in the description for my Facebook. Um, and my Instagram so you guys can you know contact me if you guys have any questions I know a lot of you have contacted me I want to thank you guys and for those of you who are first-time uh, viewers of my channel if you guys like the videos uh, you know take a look at my other reviews take a look at my other videos um, I have vlogs I've got like I'm trying to have you guys follow me around uh, so you guys can see what I go through and the things that I do on a daily basis um, but I'm not really making vlogs on a daily basis, but whenever something's happening, I will really want to keep you guys informed. Guys, I'm going to uh, conclude this review. Uh, the Artist 22E, guys. It's the Artist 22 HD on steroids. But, um, yeah, guys, I'm going to pull up my Sketchbook Pro over here, and I'm going to give you a speed sketch video for... Look, I'm drawing, guys. Yeah, see this feels so much more, so much more natural. So much more natural. And I'm not really paying attention to the rainbowing of the, uh, of the, um, the screen protector. Um, it is there, but it's not so much where it's going to cause a problem. The other one I had was the one that caused a problem. But, um, but yeah, so let me go ahead and, um, open up. My friend's logo, it's uh, called um, Deviled Eggs. So this is uh, the concept that I was working on. I'm still working on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a speed sketch video, complete it for you guys so you guys can see the artist 22E at work. Thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing. Um, you guys are amazing and you guys are the reason why I continue to do what I do with YouTube. So enjoy this and I'll catch you guys on the next adventure of all sketched out